Damn, we got a good one today. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Anyone who didn't think that Fred was TOC material, turned it up tonight, 20,800 without the benefit of a single daily double. Sonam, great game as well, 16-2, and Jerry Holden tough with 8,600. If you took the online test tonight, I'd love to hear how you did. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I'll probably be playing along later. And if you took it, best of luck. If you haven't taken it yet, I hope you try tonight's quiz and uh, use that to your advantage. As for wagers, this is going to be a fun one, I think. Sonon doubles up. She got 32-4. So Fred, to lock her out at the wager, 11-6. If he's wrong, he's going to be left with 9,200. That makes it easy for Jerry. He's got to wager something, so go all in here. Although, well, maybe Fred will overwager again tonight, but I would never lay my eggs in that basket. 7,000 at most for Sonam. Jerry doubles up. He's going to have 17,2, so that's 1,000 for Sonam. And again, Jerry is basically forced into that all in wager. Now, Fred and Sona might have some. Hmm, don't have any idea where that one went. Fred and Sona might have some mind games here. Sona goes to the 7,000 wager champ 23 2. So, to get above that, Fred will have to wager uh, 2,400. It's a conceivable wager. If he's wrong with that, he'll have. Was that 18.4? So someone I was going to win a wager at least 2.200. But uh, with the zero cover wagers, I think it's getting lost tonight. Yeah, my bet, I guess. Sonom and Fred are separated by 4,600, so Sonom will want to wager at least that. I guess I could see Fred wagering up to that amount to force Sonom to get it right. Of course, I. Probably cap it in his case at 3600 to keep him above Jerry. He doubles up of 17.2 again. And uh, yeah, this has been a really fun game. And a uh, good get by Jerry on that last Irish playwrights question. Someone I'd never heard of. How about that Carmina Barata question for all you learned leaguers out there? That was a uh, flu last season, and now we'll play Final Jeopardy, 20th Century Americans, was it? This America. Is final 20th Century America. Is it now? Here's the clue. The 1970 follow-up line, we've had a main B bus thunderbolt, was addressed to a listener in this city. 30 seconds, good luck. <laughs> Nineteen seventy main B bus underpass. <sighs> the only nineteen seventy event I can think of is Three Mile Island, so I'm just gonna write that down. Hope that's right. The first line is now part of American history. Houston, we have a problem. Damn it! Did you get it? You weren't able to come up with the city. So it'll cost you how much? Eighty-five ninety-eight. Damn it! Two dollars away from the Not a lot, please. And it cost you twelve. Why? Why not? Dropping you down to thirty-nine ninety-nine and taking us to our champion Fred. He had twenty thousand eight hundred and he's. He wrote down, what is Los Angeles? No, the first part was Houston. We've had a problem. And then the follow-up line. We've had a problem? What did it cost our champion? 7500 Hey, not bad. You pick up 13300 That now gives you a total of 49600 All right, yeah, so... Uh, clearly a case where a better wager would have won it out a second here. Fred falls to 13-3, and he didn't even wager to lock out Sona. That's weird. So if he got it right about 20, 
What? That is kind of absurd. So, had Fred gotten it right, he would have had 28-3, and had Song gotten it right, she would have 28-401. That doesn't. That just doesn't make any sense at all to me. How would someone know to wager that amount? I'm gonna have to think about this a little bit longer. This is very strange. I must be missing something really easy. I don't know. We'll have to find out. And in the meantime, I guess, enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow right here on the final wager.